It's uh, about 1.24 here Eastern Time in Montreal. And uh, yeah, let me know where you're watching from as you hop on the live. I'm going to pull up the video as always. And uh, today I'm going to be troubleshooting some designs for jewelry using this rubber tubing. Now I had a, a while back did a live stream where I was, I was making clown designs and the mouth I think it was I made with the uh, small rubber tubing and I didn't order any of the small tubing although they do have it at this uh, wholesaler. It's uh, I got that on Amazon uh, but I'm going to use I ordered some of the thicker stuff. Hi Clarice! Hi Amber! I uh, hope you guys got the memo that I was a little late. It's uh, I try to write in the community section when I'm going to be late. So that was uh, that's what I did. Uh, I just wrote it out in the community section. And we have Raghad is here. Hello, Paula, Angela, Pedro, Becca. Everybody's hopping on. Fantastic. That's great. Anna's here. Hey guys, let me know where you're watching from. And uh, yeah, as always, I'm going to just troubleshoot some new designs with this tubing. I was thinking it would be fun to make like a bracelet, maybe some earrings. Uh, so we're going to figure out some things with that. Uh, hi, Ruby. You're, you're a new sub. Oh, thank you so much. That's awesome. Hi, Julie. I actually didn't even realize it was after 10. Yeah, that's right, because you're earlier than us. So Paul's in Sweden. Yes, that's awesome. Uh, what time is it in Sweden? Because uh, we had the daylight savings, so things changed a little bit here. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'll flip the screen, and I will show you what I'm working on. So there we go. Uh, Saudi Arabia. Awesome. Awesome. Wow, it must be quite late there, I would think. Maybe like 9-10 hours later. So here we go. Flip the screen and uh, I just wanted to show you guys before I started um, on one of the Tip Tuesday videos, I did these earring hooks and I just wanted to show you that I actually added beads to them. So, and this is a very easy uh, design uh, to do these funky earring hooks. Uh, they were a special request. Oh, those are the, those are the uh, shamrocks. Those were I put them in the same bag, but these were the these were the sort of like low drop earring hooks. And in the Tip Tuesday tutorial, I showed you how to make the hooks, and then after the fact, I added the beads. So these are really cute, super easy to do. Uh, so if you want to check out that Tip Tuesday video, I do have a playlist of those tutorials where you can find some uh, really uh, fun designs and stuff. So Regina's from Columbus, Ohio. Cool, and Petra's from. Hermanus, South Africa. Wow, people from all over the world. That's fantastic. So guys, this is the tubing. And uh, did I see Ashita's here too? I'm, maybe I missed that. I think she's... Uh, we have lots of comments, guys. There we go, Ashita's here. Hi, Ashita. So here is the red tubing that I bought. And we actually bought these because my husband makes wire bicycles and he actually uses these for the bike wheels. But I thought it would be fun to troubleshoot some different designs for that. So here's the black one. It's pretty thick. Uh, I'm not quite sure what the thickness is. Let's check it out. I'll, uh, um, Anna says, I like your channel so much. You are gorgeous. Aw, thank you. Sorry, I'm from Bel Belarus. Cool. Nice. And Elizabeth says, hi. Hi, Elizabeth. So here we go. This is our ruler. We're just going to check the size of this. This is, um, ba -dum -ba -dum. looks like it's about four millimeters wide. So yeah, this, this one is definitely better to use for larger things. And they do sell a smaller tubing. So like in the clown design, when I use the red tubing for the mouth, you could definitely use it for that. But I thought it would be interesting to um, measure this for a bracelet. Rochelle's from Baltimore. I've been to Baltimore. I had a friend that lived there before. So uh, so there we go. So four millimeter. Yeah, so it's a little bit thick, uh, a little bit too thick for some of the finer designs, but it could be really cool for like maybe necklaces, bracelets, things like that. Liz is from Oklahoma. Fantastic. That's cool. We have a lot of people hopping on from all over the world. I love it. So what I thought I'd do is I'm just going to measure something like this. I just had an idea in my head. I didn't sketch it out or anything, but I thought I'd just troubleshoot an idea that I had uh, to take a couple of pieces of the tubing. And it, this would be like a very basic 
basic design. I'm going to try some bracelets after. And if you guys are new to my channel, every Wednesday I do these live streams where I just troubleshoot different designs uh, just for fun. You know, sometimes they work, sometimes they don't work. So these are kind of warm-ups to some of my tutorials. So there we go. Now we are going to take uh, some wire. I'm going to take, I could take either two separate pieces or uh, one piece and fold it. So maybe I'll just try to do one piece and fold it. So if I take, I'll just measure this and double the size. Okay. Uh, there's a demo on the great bead extravaganza. Oh, that sounds interesting. Cool. So eight. I'm going to cut this to about maybe 16 inches or so. Sometimes I like to cut more than I need. Now this wire is from Michaels. This is the uh, 16 gauge, uh, which is about 1.6 millimeters or something like that. So we're going to use that. That's like a craft wire and it's pretty flexible, which is really cool. So now what I'm going to do is just take this folded in half and I'm going to do a little loop on the end. I'll probably end up adding a clasp to this but I thought it would be good just to start with like just a basic kind of thing, just to see how it goes, because I hadn't really thought too far in advance of exactly how this is going to go. So I could twist this around if I wanted to, or maybe I could, no, actually I think I better twist it, because I, I, I was thinking I was putting both wires through the, uh, the same tube, but I'm not. So I'm going to do it this way, go like that. And then just bend that one out that that way. So then the idea would be to put some tube on both sides. Now we're hoping it's going to fit because I hadn't just I haven't tried it on there yet. So we're going to see. Yeah, it fits on there really well. So we're going to put that on there. Memory wire. Yeah, memory wire is really fun. Yeah, I don't use it a lot, but it's. Uh, I was actually going to do try to figure out some designs to do like non-traditional designs to do with memory wire because I think there's a lot you can do with it although you are limited because it holds its shape and it's very stiff so so this wire is 16 gauge wire and the tube is four millimeters so the, what I was thinking was just if you put these together on here now this one I'm gonna to have to maybe push it out a little bit and in so they're going to be a little bit of distance in there so we're going to just try to bend that a little bit now when i was selling jewelry on the street in the 90s i remember a lot of people were doing bracelets like this this is um where you have like this tube on the wire i should see if i have any samples from from back then that was a long time ago but what i wanted to do was i have these really beautiful beads that i don't even remember where i got these Okay, I practiced my English, thank you. That's so cool. I love that. Thank you. Um, yeah, it's really, it's really fun. I try to be as clear as possible because I know there's a lot of people watching that don't speak English, and that's why I've tried to put like some pop-up uh, measurements and things on the on the videos just so people have a clearer idea of exactly what to um, what I'm saying and uh, but it's that's really fun that you practice that's a great idea I actually have a friend that has is a teacher a Spanish teacher so I'm going to start watching her YouTube tutorial YouTube videos because she teaches Spanish to university students but they're all online now so all of her courses are online so I'm going to start watching her videos to learn how to speak Spanish so that would be fun so this is um I practice my English too. Fantastic. Awesome. You guys are awesome. So this is like an English class. I love it. So I better articulate. So this is a beautiful glass bead that I bought in Toronto at a wholesale place. And so my idea was just to put it in here. So what I think we're going to have to do is I think I'm going to get another piece of wire to do go with this. This one's a little bit thick. This is 18 gauge wire. Uh, but I think I'm going to try this to see. So maybe I should have put three wires there. I'm not quite sure. But like I said, I'm just troubleshooting. So we'll see how it goes. So there we go. And if we stick that one in here. And what I was thinking, it would be really cool to put it in between these two pieces. But I think we need some transitional beads to go in there. Wing uh, Winglish. Ooh, I like that. That's good. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna practice our Winglish here. So now 
I always, this is all my, always my standby color to go down to like this. This is kind of cool like that. I have a bunch of different ones. I actually just saw some in my drawer that I really like too. I'm just going to test out some colors to see what I like best. So there's that and that. And let me just get, I have some other beads in my drawer here that I just finished seeing. So hopefully I can find them and use those ones. Yep, here they are. So I have these ones too, which I really, really like. They're um, French. Oui, je parle français aussi. <laughs> Ça, c'est possible. I speak French because my husband is French. So even though I have a horrible, strong English accent when I speak French, I do speak French and I understand it, obviously. So there's these nice little iridescent beads on there. So we've got that. And parlez-vous français? Oui, je parle français. Uh, tell me in the comments if you speak French. Si tu parles français, tu peux mettre dans les commentaires. See, my French is kind of crooked because uh, I, I often do not say the right words. But like I said, I totally understand French and, and can hold up my end on a conversation. So, so there's this one too, but these I find really dark. So maybe I'm not going to go with those. I'm going to remove those ones and just see what I have nearby. I think I will go for the maybe the red because it's it really shows up well so there we go so we're gonna stick this one in here and becky you speak spanish i think too eh yeah i'm I'm actually i asked my neighbor if she would help me do subtitles on my videos so and she might so maybe we'll have some spanish subtitles coming soon so that would be cool to put this one in here and but what i'm thinking is what i have to do now is i should have thought about this in advance was would be to stick this on either side because I was hoping to put like something like this and like this and then wind it around but I think I really have to keep this one here too so just for the sake of the sample I'm not going to worry too much about that and I'm just going to take this and I think I'll put it underneath and I'm going to wind this one around so we'll just take this wind it around a couple of times and as always these trouble these uh, live streams are just troubleshooting new ideas so what I might do is after the fact after the live stream is tweak it and make it a little bit better so we're gonna see Paula Amper okay I like the colorful ones it brings it out exactly yeah I agree with you as Zineb says j'adore ce que, ce que vous faites oh merci merci beaucoup moi j'adore les bijoux puis uh, it's I love making jewelry I love making anything creative absolutely anything I draw love to draw I love to um, do crafts I miss doing arts and crafts with kids I used to do that at schools a lot too so now let's just try to get that in position so we're going to try to get that in position and we are going to I'm thinking if I should secure that end first maybe I'll secure the end first to be sure, make sure these are centered and take this and just take this one. And if I bring these, if I bring these together, I wonder if that's going to work. Yeah, see, this is where it gets tricky and we're not 100% sure what we're doing, but it's fine. So we're just going to do that and clip that one. I'm re I really think there's a way that I can make this better, but for now, I'm just going to do it like this. And I'm just thinking, I'm just going to try some different things, guys, just because I can. When it's all twisted like that, I find it's a little bit of a hot mess. So let me just cut these. This is a little, this is a little radical and extreme because I'm not, I can't go back once I've cut the wires but that's okay so we're going to take that and oh multi bene arms oh i wish i understood that so <laughs> you guys are, are having a conversation and i don't understand it but that's fine that's totally fine so now we're going to take this one and bring this one around i kind of like the way that looks see i wanted to have a cleaner look to it i'm going to cut these a little bit shorter and I can always add jump rings or something to these uh, if I want. But the way I did it on the other end, I find it a little messy. So this is what I want to do like that. I speak my native um, 
Belarusian, M and Russian, but this year I will take English. Okay, nice. The hobby and practice. Yes, we're all united with our love of uh, wire art and jewelry making, 100%. The, uh, our universal language of uh, of art, really. It's, uh, yeah, it's, you don't, uh, you don't even need to speak sometimes. So there we go. So this looks much cleaner than that. Uh, already I like that and then I can figure out after how I can finish it but for now in fact I might not even have to put a clasp that's the nice thing about this 18 gauge wire you might not have to put a clasp on it so what we can do here is center this okay so if you need to measure it you can take your ruler and you can put it on here and it's about six and a half inches, so about at a three and a quarter. So just go like that. And so there's like two and a half that way, and then about two and a half that way. So yeah, so once you have it centered how you like, then I'm going to get more of the 20 gauge wire. So there we go. And cut a piece no this is 18 gauge actually I'm really really low on wire and unfortunately Michael's for some reason is super low on wire right now so I'm gonna have to go I'm gonna go to my wholesaler tomorrow downtown and try to find some more some more wire because I'm very 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 low so now this is going to be tricky I should have maybe put another bead on that end to taper it down a little bit more but let's see what we can do here if I'm gonna hold this here Bring that one around and then bring that one in here. I think I'm going to, I think I'm going to work on both sides at the same time to be sure. I might've chosen a bead that's too big. That's possible. So let's see if we can put this one in here and try this end. Okay. I think I might've, oh, well maybe if it's sort of on top. That's not my idea though. I really wanted this to go around there. So let's see what we can do. If we bend these, yeah, maybe if we, I think that's what we have to do. We have to kind of bend this out. So let's just like bend that out and bend that out. Yeah, we have to shape it a little bit. I think that's the thing. We have to really give it some shape. Otherwise it, it doesn't really taper down. You have to like curve it down. So we're gonna curve it down like that here. And then we can wind the wire around here. Now the 18 is a little tricky to use. And if you want this wire to be hidden, you can maybe even bring these on top. That might be interesting to have that wire hidden underneath. So let's just take this and we're going to bend that and I think I want to, yeah, I want to hide that wire. So we're going to bring that. This wire is a little bit stiff. Even if you had like a little, you know, a little clamp bead or something that could be interesting. So we're going to bring that one here. So that's, that's actually really interesting. I like the way that looks. Hi, Peggy. So this, this side too, we're going to, let's remove this. And let's do the same we did on that side. We're going to taper it down. So we're just going to bring this, push that out a little bit. Okay. And so it's more curved like that. And we're going to bring this one in. And then you see it sits nicely inside there. Let's flip it over. So we're going to have that one in, in behind. Yeah, make sure it's nice and kind of centered here. And then we're going to twist that wire around again. So take this one. Perfect. Hi, Susanna. How are you? And we're going to put this one here and twist it around. So our gold wire underneath is actually hidden. So we're going to take that one here and then this one to the back. So now it's looking kind of cool. I like the way that looks. It's very chunky. Yeah, very, very chunky bracelet. We're going to bring that one in here and then we want to clip the back. So let's clip the back. Hi, Robin. How are you? Uh, put a mermaid in the middle. <laughs> well, there's an idea. 
we might be on the live stream for a couple of hours if I have to make a mermaid. If I had a mermaid bead or something, that would be super cool. Yeah, definitely. I think I think the designs that we can make with this tube are very um, more kind of not. I wouldn't say masculine, but more kind of chunky designs. So I think we could do some interesting thing. It reminds me of working with the uh, O the O rings. Now this, what I'm thinking, I should have clipped it to the right side of that wire because it's sticking out a little bit. So that's something you can adjust. So let's just pick this up. We're going to cut it on that side of the wire and this one too. We're just going to clip it to that side. And then that way, when you pinch it, okay, when you pinch it in, it's going to be smooth. So this one too, we're going to pinch that one down there and see you can't even feel it it's very smooth so we'll do the same thing here we'll just lift these up a little bit and clip it to that side and this one too we're going to lift it up a little bit and just clip it to that side here okay so that way the ends are going to be a little bit more discreet perfect okay so there we go that one's in there just push it in a little bit so that's really cool so that seems to be like we just you might have to adjust these a little bit and but the, it looks good like this is interesting because it goes on either side that's a like I said a very fat chunky bead so it's a little tricky now these ones flipped a little bit so we're just going to have to adjust these I really like the way that looks much better than the way this looks and now I'm wondering if I can actually change that. Okay, only only because, you know, it's me and I like to backpedal, I'm going to try to fix that. And it might or might not work, but let's just give it a try. If we can try to clip this and fix it. Okay, uh, we got nothing to lose, right? So let's just do this. We're going to cut it. Hi, Shana, how are you? Uh, so let's just separate these. Okay. Uh, okay, I probably should have left it as is, but because I'm a perfectionist sometimes, not always, I want to remove this, straighten this wire out a little bit. Okay, we're just gonna straighten the wire out. This one is still big enough to be able to twist the end so that's good so we're gonna I do this a lot where I just back pedal and uh and change things so uh you know the 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 disaster would be if this wire snapped but it seems pretty solid because it is the uh, 16 gauge wire so we're just flattening these out and because it's a sample I'm not worried too much about it so now we're going to twist this wire around here I'm fine too, thank you for asking. Yeah, I'm doing good. It's uh, it's a beautiful day. Well, not sunny here in Montreal, but it's very warm. Uh, yesterday was a beautiful sunny day. Uh, we got a couple of walks in, which was nice. And uh, they've extended our curfew to 9.30 p.m. so we can actually get out for our nice evening walks now, which is lovely. I love walking at night when it's dark and uh, nobody's around. It's really, really nice. Uh, you have so many new ideas. I'm surprised. <laughs> well, uh, anytime I have a new um, uh, materials and, and things, there's always new ideas. And ideas are like uh, snowballs. You know, once you get started, it, they just grow and grow and grow. So it's, it's, it's a muscle in your brain that with practice, uh, it gets stronger and stronger. So because I'm constantly creating things every single day, uh, that muscle is very strong. Now, ask me if my other body muscles are strong. I I wouldn't be, <laughs> I wouldn't be as convincing because uh, I spend much more time. See, these are slipping. I spend much more time doing art and uh, crafts than I do working out. So you know, just as you work out in the gym, I work out my my creativity muscles uh, when I'm doing my arts and crafts. So yeah. Anything can be built for sure. So now I cut these a little too small, but that's the idea that it's similar to that end. Like these loops are smaller because I cut the ends too small, but that's okay. 
Have you made a wand before? Yes. Yeah, I have some wands on the... Um, I have some wand designs, I probably in some of my live streams. And then in one of the challenges, I think it was the gift challenge, we made a wand. Uh, so yeah, there's lots of ideas. Uh, so the rubber tubing is on Amazon. I'll put a link after the live stream to where I bought it. Um, and uh, it, I think it's Amazon. I don't know if it's US or Canada, but you can probably get it either place. But I'll put, uh, once the live stream's over, I'll grab the link and stick it in the description. And um, it's really, it's really cool stuff. Like you can make some really interesting things with it. So guys, that's really cool. And then what we'd have to do is shape it to make the bracelet. So, and I didn't, I just left these as loops. I like the way they look. They look really clean. So let's, ah, uh, uh, Clarice says, my muscle is getting stronger because of Heather's uh, tutoring. Uh, the tutorials. Thank you so much, Clarice. I really appreciate that. Um, I just, uh, I also just have always loved teaching. And so for me, having this channel and being able to share ideas is just, it's a gift. I'm, I'm very, very, very happy and, and so happy you guys enjoy it. So we're just going to curve this around. And if you have a bracelet uh, template, you can use that. Otherwise, you can just curve it by hand. I don't even think you need a clasp because this wire is so thick that it seems to hold its shape. But you could, if you wanted, add a clasp to there to keep it shut. Otherwise, it's a very cool chunky monkey bracelet. Like my wrists are so skinny, it doesn't look great on me, but this would be a great bracelet for, for a guy or a girl or anyone. So, so that's it, guys. That worked pretty, pretty well. I'm kind of happy with it. Uh, Kelly says, cool, thank you. So there's that. And then let's see what else we can do with the tubing. I'm just going to grab a little sip of water. I'm thinking that electrical shrink tubing. Yeah, yeah, I don't, I guess you can probably in the hardware store, there might be some tubing. I actually used to buy a uh, thick wire and strip it and use the uh, tubing as well. So you could probably do that. Um, I know the tubing my husband uses for the bikes is medical tubing. He bought it many, many years ago, and it's actually a little shinier than this. It's quite nice, but um, he didn't have that much left, so I tried to find a source for it. Uh, and it says, it's really good. Thank you. I have the same problem, Heather. Um, okay, so there we go. And now with the skinny wrists. Okay, sorry, I had a little mind fart, a little brain fart for a minute about what you were talking about. You're talking about skinny wrists. Yeah, that's uh, that can be an issue sometimes. So now I was thinking for earrings because I've done some similar earrings for my friend before where I just do like a loop with these, uh, these tubings. So I'm going to take this. I've actually done it with leather before. So... Uh, uh, skate easy hi how are you and angelique my wrists are large april oh wow okay yeah you would rock this bracelet for sure 100 percent. so there we go so we're going to uh, cut these ones this stuff is really great for bracelets like i'm i'm gonna highly recommend it because that was a success let's see what we can do with the earrings because the earrings i made for my friend before is i got some tubing and um, actually, it wasn't tubing; it was leather. And on a on a piece of, it was a piece of um, glass. Actually, I had used a cabochon and had stuck it in there. But the thing was, I had a groove on the cabochon, so it was able to stay there. Um, you might be able to like get one of those glass cabochons and put it in and um, and glue it in. I'm just gonna see if I have one handy because I had some at some point. I'm not sure if I have any right now. Some of that stuff is in my basement. I'm just looking. I don't think I have one handy, but I had like a little glass cabochon that might be interesting. Um, is that one? No, no, I don't have any handy, but that could be also really interesting. Actually, this kind of resembles as the cabochon is something like this. Uh, Shana says, I recently joined your YouTube channel. I love your videos. Oh, yay. And the 10-day challenge. Yeah, the challenges are super fun. I love the coffee ring you did. Oh, yeah, the coffee ring is fun, too. So this is this is like that. And there's some people, some people in the group have done other coffee things, too. I, 
Somebody asked me about a wall decor with coffee, um, with a coffee cup. That might be someone that's watching now. I don't, I'm not, rem I don't remember who it was, but um, I thought that was a cute idea to do a coffee cup as a wall decor. That would be really interesting. So now I'm gonna get some 20 gauge wire and see what I can do for earrings. So let's have a set. Uh, Daria says, uh, autocorrect. Hi Daria, how are you? I thought mine was five, but it's a six. Okay, I've actually never measured my wrist, but um, uh, does that is that the number of inches? I'm not even sure what that is. So that's interesting. Uh, so now what we could do for this, I don't know if these might be a little bit big. So I'm gonna just try to do this. Yeah, that's what I'm wondering. How do you tell the size of your wrist? Unless that is inches, I'm not quite sure. But say we put this here. I mean, that's another thing too, is we could just dangle a bead down the middle. That might be interesting as well. We could, why don't we just try a few things? So we'll try one like that, and then we're gonna see what else we can do. So if we're gonna do something like that, uh, what I would do is probably do like a little loop, just like a little loop here, and bring this one here, and da 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 da. Yeah, we're just going to bring this one across and up. And if we just bring this one here and uh, do a little loop at the top, let me get this one out of the way. So we're just gonna bring that one around here. Yeah, that should be good. So we're just gonna cut that. And then measure, just bring that one in a little bit and then bring this one here and do a loop here. So we're just going to do, I think I should move my camera up a little bit. I feel like my hands are getting cut off a little bit. So I'm just gonna bring that up here and we will just turn this here. These are our flat pliers. We're gonna bring this one around and just bring that around here and that should be good. So we're, we'll cut that. So this is one option that we can do for earrings is just to have that one like that and then just dangle a piece down the middle might be interesting. So let's do that. Uh, before you gain 20 pounds, it was a four or five. So your wrist, uh, your wrist size increases with a, um, when you gain weight. I wouldn't have thought that, that's interesting. Okay, so now let's just do this around and see if we can just dangle a bead in there. This one I find it maybe is a little large for dangling, but let's see what else we have. Cause that one I definitely want to try for something else, but yeah, this is, this is really cool. So if I put this one here and then I'll get a black, put a black bead in there might, might be nice. And if I had some gold, Spacer beads, it would be good. So let me just look in my, I have a bag of gold uh, findings and stuff. So I just have to find it, obviously. So here's all my gold stuff. So perfect, let's have a look at that. I'm big boned, okay, you're not big green, that's funny. So uh, yeah, I don't think I have very big bones. I'm pretty tiny. So there we go. So let's see, we have these gold spacer beads. I have these ones, these ones. I have quite a bit. Uh, ooh, this one's nice too. I like that one and anything else. I think that's good for now. So let's just see. These ones, I, they're okay, but I don't love them. Let's see how they look because I like to try everything. Okay, so if we, I like to separate the beads with metal spacer beads. I just find it looks really nice. Mm, I don't love that one. So I'm gonna remove that one. Let's try this one. Whoop, there we go. That one and that one. That one's really dark. I like it, but it's very almost tarnished and stuff. So we're gonna try that one. I could probably polish it up, but I don't have my polishing cloth. That one's kind of interesting. I like that one. And then maybe put another red miracle bead on there. Okay. Uh, okay. Perfect. So I'm going to 
High wind warning. Ooh. Oh, no. I hope you don't lose internet. So we're going to go like that. And maybe I would put another spacer bead in there. So let's have a look and see. Yeah, you don't want a, you don't want a high wind warning. It's really calm here. So uh, knock on wood. We're good. So let's try that. Um, I think that's cool. We can just do it like that. I mean, we, we could beat it all the way up too, or just leave a little bit of a space. Maybe you want to, maybe you want to put it all the way up. Let's see what other kind of bead I have. It's always the decisions that are, that take time. And I don't know if I have a black bead there. I should have got out my bead soup because that would have been, uh, that would have been handy to have some extra beads. That one's, that's a little, that one's not too bad. Yeah, maybe I'll just do that. And so then what we want to do is just cut that to about three eighths to half an inch. Okay. Uh, new here from Atlanta. Hello, hello. That's awesome. I've been to Atlanta. I was in Atlanta when I was a kid. My dad used to have to go to a conference every summer and we would do, uh, make an excuse to do like a cross country camping trip. So we actually drove down to Atlanta and camped along the way. And then when we were in Atlanta, we stayed in a hotel because it was part of my dad's job. So that was kind of funky. So there is, that one's really cute. I like that with the, with the thing hanging down and I should probably get an earring hook to hang it up. And then I'm going to try one that I was thinking would be with the, um, that might be interesting too. Looks nice. Thank you. So there we are going to open this hoping this up. I don't know why I put an H on that word, but uh, I did. So there we go. Okay, so there's that. And now let's try another one uh, that I was thinking to put like the bead kind of nuzzled in there. So let's see if we can nuzzle that one in there. And then I want to try something else. Okay, let me just see just gonna see how this I kind of like like if you put it right in there it would look like those o-ring ones so that could be interesting but if we do something like that and just stuck it in there hmm okay I'm gonna try something here I'm just going to take this and play with it a little bit so we're gonna cut this one and really cute thank you uh, hey, from Limerick, Ireland. Wow, cool new lockdown hobby. Yes, yes. It's a great hobby to have at this time when you can't get out for sure. But uh, I would love to go to Ireland. Scotland and Ireland, that would be lovely. My family roots are in uh, in Scotland. My dad and mom went back many years ago to sort of um, track down a bit of the family tree. And they actually stayed in a B and b Airbnb where my dad's uh, ancestors were born like his great grandpa or grandpa or something like that so uh, yeah that would be fun to go back go there one day I've never been so now what I'm thinking is if we okay this is a little too tight now so I'm gonna just make a little bit of a loop and stick this one in here I probably should also put a wire through this one so maybe I can do that too. So yeah, I'm, whoops, I'm definitely troubleshooting this because I hadn't thought too far in advance what I want to do with it. But say we put, we put a wire through here and we're just going to put the bead on there. Okay. Uh, Maria, so precioso, trabujos, uh, I think that's a compliment, but I'm not 100% sure, so thank you. So anyone who speaks Spanish, if you want to translate that, that would be awesome. So now we're going to take this, the idea would be to like nuzzle this one around here, but then also maybe put another bead on top. Let's see what we can put on top that might work. If I had a black one, it would be good. Let's see what I have. Mm, I'm not sure I have any black beads, but maybe the hematite one. She likes your worth. Aw, thanks, Amber. Thanks so much, Maria. Gracias. That's, uh, I appreciate that. So there, we've got that one there, like that. And maybe put one more, although it might start to look like a snowman. 
So I don't know if we want that effect, but we can have a look and see. And we're gonna put that one there. It's kind of interesting. I like it. It doesn't really look like a snowman. But then how do you how do you trim these ones? So what I think we're going to do is, you know what I should have done, which would have been better. And uh, let's see how much we're gonna cut off that and that. So what I'll do is I'm actually gonna remove this and I'm gonna cut off about, let me just see, we're gonna cut off about uh, an inch, at least an inch. So let's remove this one. Okay, we're gonna remove that. And I'm gonna cut off like a good, a little more than an inch like that. Okay, we're gonna bring this one here. And I think I need a longer wire. So I'll take a, this longer wire, put this one on here. Love that tiger tail earrings. Ah, oh, thank you. Uh, it's Aisha, right? Or Asha? Uh, thank you so much. It's uh, That was a fun design to do. It's nice to be able to use the tiger tail for something else because uh, otherwise you just use it for beading. So we're gonna bring this one around here. I'm gonna push this one up. That will make the hoop and or the like the loop at the top. We're gonna bring this one around here. And then I can close this one up. Okay, we're gonna close those ends. So it's already, we're using less wires. So this is much easier. We're gonna take this and then bend this one down, straight down. And where do you find the entire rolls of tubing? So those are from uh, Amazon. And I just have to find the link and I'll put the link in the description of the video once it uploads. So uh, I forget the name of the supplier, but um, I might have linked it in the video about the clown. I think I did. So if you go to the video, the live stream about making the clowns, I'm pretty sure I put the link in there and they sell either a smaller size or this uh, larger size. So now I think I cut my tube a little small now because this doesn't want to fit in there. So let's remove this bigger bead and we're going to take this one and this one and put that one in there. I think that's going to fit a little bit better, although maybe we can still put a littler bead. So let's just try that and see how it goes. And I might order some of their smaller uh, tubing as well, although I already have a lot of small tubing uh, that I use um, anyways, but I might try to get it. The only thing I don't like about this tubing, it's very matte, whereas the tubing I have is very shiny, but it's okay, it's just a different effect. It almost looks like leather. So now we can just fit these ones in here, bring this one around to the back and Pinch that, clip that, and there we go. She said your work is beautiful. Oh, thanks, Clarice. There we go. So, Ashley, where? You, yeah, the rule. Yeah, I'll put the link to that and put a link in the description. Absolutely, for sure. So there we go. So we're gonna do that, and now I'm going to do just a little loop at the end for the earring. So we're just gonna take this one and just bring it around. Hold this with the flat pliers around and around. And then you guys can tell me which design you like better of these two. Might be fun to try a ring too. Maybe I'll try a ring as well. So I'm just going to get my hooks. We'll stick a hook on there. Yeah, I haven't seen Mustafa, but you know what? It's really, really late for Mustafa. I feel so bad because uh, uh, these live streams are not a convenient time for him, but um, he's probably it's probably just too late and I think he was uh, with his at his grandma's place at, at one point too so maybe he's just not available so here is this one so where the beads are kind of nuzzled in between and you can even like adjust these a little bit if you want to and then there was this one where they're dangling down so that's two ideas I mean they're definitely very chunky earrings so let me know which one of those two you prefer. I'm really curious. And then I'm gonna to try to make some kind of ring. So for the ring, I would just, I guess, just measure around 
my finger. I think the ring is going to be really too chunky, but we can try it and see. Uh, so I'll just take that one and we can, first of all, just put this through to see what I want to do with it. Uh, we can make it super simple. I can just put a bead through there. I'm just going to decide what I want to do. So like say we got a bead here and just stuck it around and just did a very simple design. We can do that. I think I like the idea of doing it like the that design that I make for the rings to make and sell. Let me try that one. Uh, the right one looks better. So this one with the dangling with the dangling one looks better. I like the right one better. Okay, so so the I think people tend to like this one. I like it too. It's got like a little bit of more interest to it. So yeah, I think I think I agree with you. I like that one as well. So to try to make the ring, let's remove this and we're just going to cut this one flush and give this one a little bit of a bend here. Oh, this, you know what? This is not the right wire. This is the 20 gauge. So I'm gonna actually switch that out for the 18 gauge because I think 18 is more solid for the ring. So let's take the 18 gauge, put that one on here. I love your channel and how you explain your techniques. Oh, thank you. Yeah, no, I have such fun making them and uh, I'm really glad that shows in the videos because uh, I feel like I'm learning all the time. And that's what I love about doing the videos is I, I, I learn at the same time you go, guys do, especially on these uh, live streams. So say we do like a little, just a little loop there. And then we're gonna do the little loop on the other side. I think this is gonna be cool. I think this is gonna be very uh, clean. So we take that, I'm gonna remove that one and then do a loop on this end. So there, and bring that right in okay that loops may be a little big so if it's too big just clip it a little bit we'll just clip that off a little bit that's fine and bring that one in so now we have like this would be your basic shape you could do something like this for a bracelet too is just take a single tube to make a bracelet that would work as well okay um does the wire only have room for one piece of wire mm. The tubing, well, you know what? Maybe after this, I can see if I can fit two pieces of wire in it because that might be interesting too. Um, yeah, where are you going with that? Like, do you have an idea for something that would be interesting for two wires? Because I could definitely try something uh, with two wires. It could, be, it could be interesting for sure. So I think there's a lot of potential with this tubing. I think it's really, uh, it's really cool stuff. Uh, so here, just to start like a basic ring, see it goes around like that, uh, which is really interesting. I maybe didn't make it big enough. Uh, so two ways you can finish this. You can take your 20 uh, gauge wire. Hi, Gradella, how are you? Uh, the tubing, yeah. Yeah, so I think we can see. We can see if we can fit two in there. So there's a couple of ways we can do this. We can just take this one, bring it down, to add the bead. And let's give it a little bit of a cut. This is a 20 gauge wire. Uh, so the way I usually do the rings, uh, the classic ring design is just to put one through each side here and then attach it like that. But I find I don't like this connection between those two. I find it looks, there's a bit of a gap. So let's see what else we can do. Just thinking of putting that piece of wire through the tubing in a circle to make the ring. Ah, I see what you mean, to like loop it through twice. You might be able to do something like that. We can we can have a look and see. So I'm gonna bend these up on an angle so you don't see that little gap of the tube there. So let's try that. We're gonna bend this up on an angle at a right angle. So if we bend that right up on a right angle here, okay, and then this one too just right at a right angle. Yeah, let's try to put two, wire, two wires in there after. So it almost looks like a little horseshoe or something, but now I'm a little bit worried I've made it too small. I can always make another one that's a little bit bigger. So we've got that. Yeah, this is gonna be quite small, but 
it could be interesting. It's going to maybe fit my pinky finger. So in that sense, in that case, we're just going to pull this wire straight. So what if we just stick one wire in here and then this wire through there and maybe I've pushed these up too much now. So let's put them out on a little bit more of an angle, especially since this one is um, small. I should have cut it larger. Let me just see about what length I did that one. So if that was there, just so you guys have an idea, that was to about there. So this was, let's see, uh, Mustafa. Hi, Mustafa. We were, we were thinking maybe, well, it's late. You're not late. I thought you would be asleep. So you're actually, maybe you're up the next day. I don't know, but this is late for you. And I was apologizing because I, I find it very late uh, for you, but, uh, but thank you so much for hopping on. So this is almost two inches. So say the next one, I might try two and a quarter inches, which might be too much, but I'm gonna cut the next one two and a quarter inches just to see. I'll put that at the side. So let's try to get our bead in there. We'll just take that. I think my bead rolled away. There we go. So we're gonna take this and we're gonna put this one in here. Yeah, I thought you might be sleeping, but I should probably know better than that because I know you are a, a night owl. So there we go. We're going to put this one in here and then this one through the other side. Okay, so there, that looks cool. I like that. And then the thing is we want to wind these around, but I don't know if I actually want to wind it around the tube or not because I don't want to kind of squish the tube. So let's try if we take this and then just bring it around here. And then I'll do one on this side. So I'm going to take this, I'm just going to see where my bend is. We're going to take this, hold it, and bring that one down through there. Okay, so that's looking a little funny, but that's okay. So if we bring it around here, oh, well, you know what might happen? It actually might slide into the tubing. If I pull it tight enough, it might actually be more discreet than I thought. So let's just try to cut it. And I could do another one after if it's not working as planned. So we're gonna clip that one and clip that one. And so then we have these little ends. So we're gonna push, push those ends in. We'll just push the ends in a little bit. And what what if we just kind of wiggle this around a little bit here, if we put it, mm -hmm. yeah, I'm not sure about that. See, I'm seeing there's a bit of a gap there, which is okay. But if I push these, if I push the tubing in a little bit, you kind of don't see those Gap. So I think what I'm going to do is just squish this in a little bit. I think it's not too bad. Okay, so this is this is how it looks if you just... Here, let's push this in a little bit. Okay, on this side. Okay, so this is how it looks if you don't wind it around the rubber. It just is kind of right in there, which is not too bad. So that's kind of interesting. I don't mind it. Oh, it's actually not that small. See, it's a little bulky, but it's kind of cool. It's different, eh? Uh, three. Did Mustafa say it's 3 a.m.? That's, uh, that's what time I sometimes go to bed. I usually go to bed at about 1.30-ish, uh, 1.32. So let's try this one. We're going to try it at two and a quarter inches. And I'm going to try another ring similar to this. Uh, but a little bit bigger and see what we can do. Uh, first dog getting dropped at 6.30. Wow, that is early. Yeah, 6.30 is the time I get up to pee and go back to bed. So, <laughs> uh, yeah. So now we are going too much information, I know, but that's okay. We all have to do it, right? So here is my two and a quarter inch ring. And let's bring, let's do the loop thing again to see what we can do. So... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think I've written a comic about that too, but uh, there we go. So let's bring this one, go around in a loop. We're going to try this again. So we're going to go around like that. 
and then bring that one in here and then we'll do another one about like that size. <laughs> I thought you would appreciate that, Julie. So there we go. So let's do this one and then, no, I have to cut this one a little bit smaller. There we go, and bring this one right in there. So there we have our basic shape again, and let's wind it around the ring cone. And I usually sleep at 3.30 a.m. So we got a bunch of night owls here. Okay, there's uh, maybe wire artists are generally night owls, except for Amber, who has to get up super early because of her doggies. Yep, that's sort of the nature of that type of work. So there we go. So we're gonna go, uh, we have this one going here. And I'm just trying to think of if, let me just look at this for a second. <laughs> I like the way these go up because it really secures the bead in place. So let's just try this again. We're just gonna bring this one up and bring that one up here. I mean, the other thing is you don't have to put a bead at all. We could try one that doesn't have a bead. That might be interesting. Let's try that after. We'll try one that doesn't have a bead and uh, see how that looks. So now I'm gonna get, can't turn off the brain, yeah. Yeah, well, I don't have trouble sleeping once my head hits the pillow, I'm out like a light. So this is a funky bead, let's use this one. It's kind of speckly, I like this one. And we're just gonna put this one through here and put this one through here. And let's try to do this one where we wind it around there. I think that might work better. I'm a little bit worried I'm gonna squish this tubing, but you don't know until you try, right? So let's just bring this one down, wind it around the tube a few times and see how that's gonna look. So we go around and around. Okay, and then we'll tighten it up and do this side. So we'll go here and we went, okay, I'm just trying to think of what way we went that way. So we're gonna go the opposite way over here. So we're gonna take that one, bring that one right through there. And then we'll this around this one a few times. So around there and there, we might have to kind of squish it all in together after but we'll see. So there's, yeah, that's sort of interesting. It's a, I don't know, it's a little bunchy there, but we're gonna see. So we're gonna bring this one around to the top and then bring that one around one more time to the top. This one's very chunky. Yeah, very, very chunky. So now we're gonna clip the ends. Okay, so now we're gonna have to go here and maybe a smaller bead. That might be an idea to do a smaller bead. Yeah, so let's just do, we're gonna get that one pushed in there. I'm gonna try one without a bead. I think it's gonna be interesting. So we're gonna take that one and try to like bring all of this in a little bit. This is just, you know, really playing around with it. I'm not quite sure where I'm going with this. There's a bit of a gap in there which might or might not be okay, but oh, we can, uh, yeah, if we bend this out, actually, it kind of closes the gap a little bit, which is, oh, I like that. Okay, so now we're going to put this one back on the ring cone, and that definitely makes a chunky monkey ring, that's for sure. Okay, so there, we're gonna put this one here. Very neat, okay, so there we go. So we're gonna put that one there and that one there. And perfect. Okay, so now let's try one without the, let's try one without the wire or without the bead and then we're going to be good to go, I think. That's perfect. Okay, so now um, we're gonna go like that. Perfect. And we're gonna cut that one. There we go. So let's put another wire in there and this will be it guys for today. So let me know in the comments uh, what you're working on with your wire and uh, what sort of projects you're doing. We're going to be starting another uh, challenge uh, coming up soon, but there's a twist to the next challenge and uh, you, you will find out soon enough what it's about. And I think it's gonna be really fun and really interesting. So I'm looking forward to that. So now we're going to put this wire through here and we're going to bring this one around 
Uh, I want to find some of that tubing. Yeah, so I will definitely put the link for the tubing. And because um, I found this one on Amazon. And you also might be able to find it on Etsy. I'm not sure. So I'm going to have to see. Uh, Discord. Is that the Discord app, Peggy? Because I haven't been on Discord for a while. So I will definitely do that. Just finished an affinity ring. Very nice. That's awesome. Yeah, Julie says tease. Yes, so there's, like I said, there's a challenge coming up with a bit of a twist. And uh, you guys will, uh, I'll let you know as soon as it's finalized what it what it's all about. And I want to do a challenge in my art channel too. So that's going to be fun. So now, uh, just for this, I'm not quite sure what I want to do with this. I think I'm just going to keep this simple and maybe do... I don't know if it should be adjustable or not. Maybe we could just try something like with a, a little spiral or something just to just to see how it looks just with the wire. Kind of want to do something really abstract, but I think for now I'll just do something pretty basic. I'm just going to get a, a Sharpie around here uh, with a crimp tubing I'm not sure yeah I might I've uh, I'm not sure if it would work with the crank tubing or not I like the I like the rubber like I love the flexibility of it and I love that it almost looks like leather but not quite so that's interesting so we're going to bring this one around here around and around perfect and yeah, so that's kind of cool, like just to make a kind of combination of the wire and the and the tubing. It might be interesting, you know, and I mean, you could also add beads too. We can, why don't we try, see what would happen if we just added a bead to it. Like, and this is the sort of thing you could spend hours experimenting with. That's the interesting thing. I kind of like the idea of putting a bead on the end to kind of, give a differentiation between the wire and the tube. So if we put like a bead there and really pushed it in there, so it's almost like nestled in there a little bit, although there is a little bit of a kind of a line thing going on there, but that might be interesting to do something like that and then do either a spiral or something else. Like you could even do like a kind of almost like a chaos kind of messy wrap as well. But I think for this one, maybe what I'll do is I'll keep it pretty basic. Although you can, I mean, you can just take it if you want and play around with it. Like that could be really interesting. So let's try something like that where we're just take this. I kind of like the, like the more abstract thing. So we can bring it around and bring it around here. Yeah, it's kind of interesting. I like that. And maybe bring it up a little bit more and then just take the end. Yeah, I think, hi Debbie. Yeah, oh, you, yeah, you missed the live stream, but uh, you, you hopped on the ends, which is great. We're just playing around with the rubber tubing. So, so now we're gonna do this. Uh, uh, Peggy said, I think that's what the package said. Okay, I'm gonna have a look and see because uh, I haven't really experimented with that yet. So now we're gonna bring this one around um, just to finish the end because you want the end to be a little bit finished and clean. So this kind of is like a little bit messy, but I find that interesting. And then for this side, now it looks too, it looks too regular now. So now I'm gonna actually pull this one back to make it a little, a little more uh my internet's not working oh no no well we're almost we're almost done mustafa so um maybe you could watch the replay then if your internet conks conks out uh that's unfortunate sometimes it's hit or miss like i've been having trouble with my internet but only on one of my devices which is very strange so uh, that's something i have to look into for some reason my internet doesn't work on my ipad but it works on everything else so and apparently it's not an ipad issues so wow this is getting really funky guys so let's go ahead and just try to finish this off i'm going to bring this one around here and maybe just bring that one around here and just twist that one around a little bit there we go bring that around 
I got a little bit kinked up, but that's okay. So we're going to bring that one around here. Ooh, that almost looks like a heart in there. That's kind of interesting. Wow. So this is, this is definitely unique. Yeah, definitely unique. Uh, but this kind of gives you an idea of other things that you can do with the tubing and make a heart at the end. Yes. Yeah, that's what it looks like. So the tubing, I'll put a link in the description, Debbie. It's from Amazon. It's uh, I put a link in the video for the clowns, but I will put a, a link in this video as well. As soon as um, as soon as it's done, I'll go I'll go grab the link and put it in the description from Amazon. So this is definitely interesting. I think, and the thing about this is you can kind of hide those little rough ends if you put it in there. And then the last thing, of course, you would have to do is just bring it and put it on the ring cone. And this one, I didn't finish the end so it could be somewhat adjustable, although you could loop, you could almost loop the ends in together if you wanted to. Like say you wanted it to be uh, not, like you wanted it to be able to fix, like you can try it on like that. And that's really interesting. But if you're worried about the ends coming undone, you can also say, take one of these ends we're just gonna maybe lift it a little bit. And if you hooked it, maybe you can hook it in here or something. So let's unloop that a bit. Bring that one over here and try to hook it in there. Let's see what we can do. Bring that one up. We'll try to hook it into there. Yeah, it's sort of interesting. So we're going to just take that one. And yeah, see you can actually hook it into the other end so it's fixed and then that way you don't have to worry about it like coming apart when you wear it so that's another option if you want to make a little like hook thing in there to hook them together and then this one you might just have to adjust it a little bit because you want the bead you would want the bead to show and oh there's like seriously the sky is the limit with this you can really really play around with it and there we go so that that's funky so we're going to bring that one there your little bead is showing you're going to push this you fit it around the ring cone to make sure that it's uh, going to hold together and if you want to put these ends closer together you just push it in it's like sculpting really it's like making a sculpture and this one, the ring, the bead's not showing anymore. So we're, let's just move this down a little bit. Yeah, and then bring that one in. Yeah, it's really, really fun actually just to sculpt it. So there it is, super funky. So let's just, yeah, it's funky, eh? It's different. So so there you go. It doesn't really fit any of my fingers. Let's see, This it's a little big for that one. But not bad. Like, if anything, it fits that one. So, guys, let's see what we made today. We made a bunch of stuff. So, we made these rings. Okay. And then we made this super funky ring. I really like that one. We made the earrings. Okay. Yes, yes. So, the bracelet, Debbie, before you came on, we made the bracelet. And for sure, it's really comfy. It's very soft. So, and I didn't put a clasp on it because it does hold its shape with the 16 gauge wire, but you could put a clasp on it if you want to. So, there we have. And then this is supposed to kind of more sit inside there. So, it just came out a little bit, but you can adjust this to sit how you want. So, so let me know in the comments which one you prefer. We have the earrings. We have the rings, we have the funky ring, and we have the bracelet. So let me know which ones you guys like, and I'm going to flip the screen and say goodbye. So let me just flip my screen. Uh, there we go. Perfect. So there we go. And maybe I can show you from this angle. So there's the bracelet. So that's super cool. And... I think this is my favorite. I love that funky ring. It's very, very different. Very interesting. It's not focusing, but that's okay. And then the earrings. There, the bracelet's cool, eh? And I think the bracelet has a lot of potential. The earrings, and I mean, the rings and the earrings are a little chunky, but they're fun. They're fun for sure, but yeah, I think the bracelet's really cool. I think there's a lot you can do with that. I wish I had pictures of those old bracelets we used to make in the 90s because they were uh, really, 
They were, yeah, you liked it even before you could see it. Yeah, you could, you could, when I saw the tubing, that's what I saw right away is to do something like that. So um, yeah, there's definitely a lot of potential. So I am gonna, yeah, I'll post the link to the tubing in the, um, in the description of the video so you guys can have a look and see. And uh, that's it. What are we? We're Wednesday, so third uh, Saturday is another uh, regular video. And then look out in the next couple of weeks, I'll be announcing the next challenge, so uh, you guys uh, can find out about that. And thank you for hopping on every week. We always have such a great time. I hope you guys have a really, really good uh, rest of the day, rest of the night. And uh, we'll see you the next time. And we'll see you in the Facebook group, the Wire Makers group. We're actually almost at 10,000 members of the Wire Makers Club, which is super fun. It's such a great group to share your designs and to get inspired and share ideas. Uh, so if you're not already a member of that group, be sure to join. And uh, we'll see you guys the next time. Bye.